Hey guys, we are at Coral Castle in Florida and let's take a look at the Polaris telescope built by Edward Leeds Colnin. By the way, from now on, you'll see me in the video not because I like attention, but a lot of people take my videos and post it online as their own. So I hope this will stop it and my name is Praveen Mohan. Now, the telescope is unique because it is the world's only megalithic telescope and this rock weighs a massive 23 tons and stands 25 feet tall. Imagine a 100 pound man with a 4th grade education single handedly lifting 46,000 pounds. But what's more unique, unlike most other rocks in the coral castle, it can be placed only at this specific location. Ed had to be extremely precise and one inch to the right or one inch to the left would make this telescope pointless. Let's use this telescope to understand how it works. Here is a triangular eyepiece with a hole drilled on it. All you have to do is line up the hole in the eyepiece and the hole in the telescope. But we don't see anything because it's broad daylight but on a clear night sky you'll see the North Star in one of the four quadrants. Polaris is simply another word for the North Star. You can not only see the North Star but you can also calculate the four seasons because the North Star will rotate among the quadrants depending on the seasons. During winter you will see the North Star in the top right. It will move to the top left during spring will descend to the bottom left during the summer and to the bottom right during fall. Is there a way to see the North Star even during daytime? It is possible to virtually see it if you use an app called Google Sky. All you have to do is download it on your smartphone and hold it before this eyepiece. Now remember I said if Ed moved the large telescope even by an inch it wouldn't work and some of you might think this circle is large enough that such a small movement would not matter. But what is Ed really doing here? He did not care about the North Star. He did not even care about the Four Seasons. All he cared about was the absolute true North. He has marked the true north at the dead center of the crosshairs. So he had to place this telescope exactly at this location and set this eyepiece here. Remember, he did this in 1940 and had no satellite GPS, fancy computers or lasers. This is a very unusual accomplishment for a fourth grader, especially to do it without anyone's help. After Ed's death, people searched his belongings for astronomical devices like telescopes, advanced compasses, sextants and found none whatsoever. So how could he do it with his naked eye? When people asked him about this telescope, he would tell them that he knew what the builders of Giza pyramid knew. The strange thing about Giza Pyramid is that the sides of the square base are closely aligned to the four cardinal compass points based on true north. And the ancient Egyptians could create this 4500 years ago, apparently without any modern equipment, just like Ed did. Now, if that's not enough, I just realized that Coral Castle itself is perfectly aligned with the four compass points based on true north. Is it humanly possible to construct an entire castle which weighs more than 1100 tons without the help of other humans, pack animals or advanced technology and the megalithic walls on all four sides accurately line up with the four directions just like many of the ancient structures. And what's even more brilliant is that if you draw a line from the Polaris telescope to the exact south, 
it dissects the entire castle into two equal halves. In my past videos about Ed Sundial and the Nine Ton Door, I showed you some uncanny similarities to the Giza Pyramid. What's Coral Castle modeled after the Great Pyramid of Giza? What do you think? Please do let me know your opinion. I'm finding a lot of intriguing stuff like this, so please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.